<laughs> With the fly. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> All you saints. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, what an experience. And bless his holy name. Are you putting on the mask, baby? <laughs> so, <laughs> we were in Bob Evans, right? <laughs> so, we was in Bob Evans, right? Let's see if it worked with a tic tac. It don't She's work. trying to talk with this dog on. It don't work with Skittles. Sometimes, if you have. Wait. You know the worst thing you could do with a mask is have a tic tac. And glasses on so if you take like a tic tac like one of these real strong ones and you you especially extra mint you see her tattoo I ain't see it if she had a swastika no <laughs> you're so ignorant we just left Bob Evans so it wasn't a good experience right yeah it was some flies some flies was racist they thought Fred was African <laughs> The flying stalk Fred was African. <laughs> so if you have like a Tic Tac, right, and glasses, and you like, or strong mint, and you put the mask on, right, and then you put the glasses on, you open up your sinuses and go blind at the same time. <laughs> Try it, it's really fun. <laughs> so we was at Bob Evans, right, and it was just so much going on. It was flies, and it was this man, he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> And he didn't cover his mouth, y'all. He did. He didn't even cover his mouth. He just was like, yo. And everybody just froze, right? We was just like. And Fred was like, so he ain't going to do nothing. He just ain't going to cover his mouth. He ain't do none of that. He ain't cover his mouth. None of that. So we are coupling right now. And um, we're going to talk about Pastor Gurney Davis Jr. Bless you. The benefits, someone said eyes be watering, don't it? <laughs> the benefits of balance. The benefits of balance. It is so imperative that you have a level of balance. But we're not talking about the balance, like, you know, what makes you both be even. Right. But there's a balance when you come under different circumstances that I know Fred can handle it better than I can and vice versa and vice versa like on the way to Bob Evans right <laughs> <laughs> what's up Corey it's of the devil we were driving and like the this, devil just coming after us he's just coming after us he Go using ahead, flies and people coughing and everything today so we were driving and this man like rolled up on Fred like he just rolled up on him and so, like, the, the old man began to rise up in Fred. You know, he was like, hey, yo, yo. I was like, now the meat man just turned into meat meals. <laughs> <laughs> the meat man just turned into meat meals like, like that. He was like, hey, yo. I was like, hey, now, okay, and vice versa. And so the balance is, who can keep the peace and who bring the pain? You have to have someone that, someone said greeting is a great topic. Thank you, Pastor. It, it, you have to understand that you have to create a balance. Yeah. That means who is more frugal? Is the word frugal or cheap? Cheap, frugal, same word. No, it's not. Cheap and frugal is the Frugal same word. is more budgeting. Cheap is like. Frugal, you're right. Cheap is I what agree. I, cheap is what I. Cheap is when you go to the dollar store and buy somebody a candle and say happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah, that's that's cheap. That's just cheap. That's cheap. That, that, that's a true story. That Frugal happened is when you budget. Frugal is when you budget. Yeah. You that's know? right. So who budgets? Who is more who who can handle the checks? Who can handle the bills? Who can clean up? Who can and you know, yeah. it's that balance. And some things that he's good at and some things that I'm good at. And so we switch. Right. What are some of the things that I'm good at, Fred? You're good at cooking. Cooking? You're a very good cook. Okay. 
-hmm. And Fred does not cook. But he can make a heck of a salad. Man, that lettuce be clean, and I'm telling you, you put some carrots in there. And he can make one heck of a salad. But cleaning, I think, I think both, we both of clean. us. Yeah, both yeah, of us. Both yeah, clean. both of us clean as much as we can. Right. But the balance is what's important. The balance in a relationship, in a marriage, you have to know the balance. Now, this is one thing. You can't get mad that one person in the relationship is better at something than you. That's good. You find that? Did yeah, you, it, because now, when it comes, when it comes to Jamila, she knows a lot more and has a lot of wisdom about, especially about business. Okay. A lot of she has a lot of business in her, so she has a lot of wisdom when it comes to that. And if your wife or your husband has more wisdom in the area, you can't get irritated by that. You got to be empowered by that. Okay. Wow. And the thing about it is some of the some of you married and ones that are seeking to be married or have fiance, uh, fiancés or something that you're building, you may be getting irritated by the wrong thing mm -hmm. and letting pride come in. Instead of building in that area, it becomes something else. Like she's saying, what she knows is the balance in us both. Mm -hmm. I think that's what happens in relationships when you become jealous of your spouse. Instead of acknowledging wow. that they are better at it and giving them mm. the praise that they really are due. You know, give give honor where honor is due. You know, I, I, I thank God that there's no jealousy. So both of us being pastors, I take from him and he takes from me. And it creates the balance. There's some things that I'm just like gutter afraid about. And like vice versa. I think jealousy creeps in any situation when you fail to acknowledge the good traits that you have in someone, but instead of learning, you take it as being ridiculed. Right. You take it put as down. put down. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And instead of learning from them, you become critical. We as men do that. Like we as men, we do that like automatically. And I'm, I know y'all brothers. Some of y'all brothers see this. Do what? I think automatically when when our when our wife our spouse or whatever we're building and they begin to give you more out of an area and you probably already thought you had that master when that starts to come up you are an offense automatically comes up in you because as a man you have some sort of pride or well, we have that pride mm -hmm. and we can get lost in that and destroy something good because as men we automatically yeah, he done made you the head, but you got to realize the woman is still the neck. She help everything move. So mm -hmm. you got to have the wisdom to know uh, uh, when it comes to your wife or when it comes to your fiance or whatever. And I'm talking to men in this point that you can't be offended or let offense come up and make you ruin something great. Okay. One of the things that I think people as a whole, like you even have some children that don't want to listen to their parents. Right. Because they think that they, you know, these kids today know it all. We live in a Google society, and they think that they know it all. You show me a man. It's a y'all know I like Chinese proverbs. I'm very big on learning Chinese proverbs. There's a Chinese proverb that says, "Show me a man that knows everything, and I can point you to a man that knows nothing." And you can't act like you know it all. I have to apologize sometimes, and I'll say this openly, baby. Forgive me if I seem like a miss know it all. Yeah, you always say that. I always say that because I don't want to seem but like it's I not know offensive. everything. Yeah, yeah. What's not offensive? I'm talking about when you say that, it's, you don't have to say that. Yeah, I mean, I'm humble about it. Right. You, you know, and if that. I don't know something, I'm going to ask. The Bible says, he that lacks wisdom, let him ask for it. And so it's okay to ask someone who's better at something than you are, how do you do that? But it's not okay for you to teach them like they are stupid. Yeah. I think that happens in a lot in relationships. You know, oh, you don't know that? Right. No, the balance is is that you're here that we can learn from that's each other. Really Iron, sharp. I, I mean, I mean, it's true. That's you know, they get mad really at you because you don't know. Yeah. Yo, you don't know that. You don't know that's a shrimp fork. No, it ain't a shrimp fork. I'm hungry. Give me the fork. I must put it in the chicken. I'ma eat it. I'm, don't even take offense because I don't know at that specific time. <laughs> I might not. I might. It may not be that I don't know. I might be reaction towards a need or a hunger, and I ain't gonna follow your but guidelines. We do that a lot, babe. Like, what? like. I'll say, what's this such and such and such and such? She said, you don't know that? I said, no, I don't know. Right. You know, and, and it's all right. 
You know, the thing about the thing about being a man of wisdom or a woman of wisdom is the wisdom is knowing that you don't know it all. Or I'll say, like, I'm gonna ask you something, I don't wanna sound stupid. And then you ask me, shoot, especially about selling. Don't ask, he's the better speller. You done read some of my posts and stop laughing, Michelle. I, I, what? I'd be like, Fred, this morning I was like, how you spell through? It's with a T at the H, an H at the N or a T. I ain't afraid to say it. He's a better speller than I am, child. Don't even, I don't care if how many people get mad because I can't spell. It ain't got nothing to do with the promises of God. Come Spelling on, don't baby. require you to get into the kingdom. It's a whole lot of smart people and dummies going to hell. Hmm. Back to what I was saying. But he's a better speller than I am. And sometimes I'll say, Fred, how do you spell yada, yada, yada? And he'll just go, and then he'll spell it because he understands that's his strong suit. That's right. And so there's certain things that he doesn't know that he'll ask me. And I'm like, okay, babe, this is how you do it. The balance in everything, the Bible says there's a just balance is God's delight. That's right, babe. The just balance, that means the balance that creates both of you to hold evenly in life. Do you know anything as is up? Anything that is done in excessiveness is problematic. Yeah. yeah, that's the yin and yang of a relationship. It has to be. It has to have a balance. And when one person is in control of everything, yep. I'm telling you, you you out to crash. You and yeah, you I would not want to be a man that controls everything because you know what's gonna happen, mm -hmm. and eventually something is gonna crash, and mm -hmm. you are gonna be the one that's gonna be your fault. But if you mm -hmm. got two people mm -hmm. that know how to balance one another, like this morning mm -hmm. when that guy pulled up behind me in mm -hmm. that mini BMW mm -hmm. bumping his dog on horn, mm -hmm. I wanted to jump out. You was turning to meet me. I put my I let my it. wonder down and let him see my black face. Sure did. Cause I was gonna. I ain't want to, you know, right. because at the end of the day, that's the balance that we have. But I'm going to tell you now about that balance. Right. I'm about it when it comes to men. Right. She about it when it comes to women. Right. So I'm sorry, all y'all that got blocked from being in this inbox. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Wait a minute. So. Ignorant. I'm just saying, it's the truth. You know, Mufasa, you wrong for that. It's the truth. But it's, it's true, truth. though. It's but truth. I think it's a very healthy thing when you have a healthy balance. We and, do. and and healthy balance really is created. It is. It's creating it is. a healthy balance. It's like, work. It is work. Because, like, there are times, even with, with my eating, I'm a McDonald's fanatic. I love. Why you McDonald's. Look like that? I'm just what? I'm looking. And it's not. What, <laughs> Now this is where we agree. It's number McDonald's. Nine, nine. It's not McDonald's. It's McDonald's. It's MC McDonald's. Don't y'all send them gift cards no McDonald's. D the devil is a liar. Look God here. is exalted. Look here. Look here. Don't listen to Fred. Look here. Fred. My name is Mr. Good. She's Mrs. Good. Fred. Don't give her no more. Leading people alone. Leading <laughs> people alone. Don't off. send her no more McDonald's don't gift cards. Don't let the devil use you. <laughs> don't let the devil use you, Fred. Don't let the devil use you. He using you, friend. Don't listen to that man. Listen. Right now, he is not my husband. He is a hater. Uh, 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 he is a hater. And no dispensation, time, Kairos or Kairos. Uh, Kronos or Kairos. I am her husband eternally. Why you gonna do that, friend? <laughs> Don't listen to Fred. Let me see, that's the spirit of control. I'm buying the spirit of control right now. Shut up. Roll up my boss. Loose him. It's a construct it's a controlling demon that has got on my husband. So listen to me. All eyes listen to me. Don't listen to Fred. Don't listen to Fred. But but with all seriousness, there are times where he says, babe, let's have a salad. Cause that's the only thing Fred know how to cook. That's why you don't want me to eat McDonald's. Mm -mm. You doing good, baby. Thank you. So when you have someone that is a, you know, he likes to eat healthy. It's that balance, like okay. We ain't be eating healthy the last couple of weeks. Right, and he, it's more so not even about the weight. It's about the health, the healthy lifestyle. And so the balance is let's create a healthy balance. And then that's what we've been doing. And then on Fridays, then I can have my McDonald's. It's about a health lifestyle. And so the balance is. Yeah, she throw Friday in now. You see how that was smooth, wasn't it? And go sure ahead, was. Go on, go on, preacher. Why are they so close, Fred? I don't know. But now Meek Mill's gonna have to come out here. Bump my car. Hold on. Yo, COVID got people on pins and needles. COVID got. Oh wait, okay. I could take her. You, I could take her. <laughs> you can take her. Huh? Huh? 
I can take her. Yeah, you can take her. Baby. I can, I can take her. <laughs> in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. So the balance is, the the balance is creating it. Yeah. You have to create balance in everything that you do. If you are with someone and they become very controlling, it means that they don't want you to have a sense of healthy balance. You can't do that. And you have to respect someone that knows better than you or knows how to navigate life in certain areas than you. Because once you respect the fact that they have manifested evidence that what they did work, yes. that's the Achilles heel behind that creating part. balance, that part. Yeah, and so it, it's just certain things I'm just not going to do. I'm not climbing on no ladders. I'm not, yo, I'm not killing no bugs at all. <laughs> and so I put Fred in those areas because he has the patience for it. That's one of the things that people got to understand too. Do you have the patience for certain things? Who has the patience? Who's got the patience? I think you got patience in certain areas and I got patience in certain areas. You have more patience than I do. It's a given, hands down. Karen says it, Michelle says it, <laughs> the church says it, the kids say it. You have more patience than I do. Why are you trying to be humble, Fred? Just I'm just me. saying, I can't, I'm, this is the thing about patience and humility. If you say it, if I say it, I ain't got it. Somebody else have to give you that. Okay, so I'm giving Say that line. to you. And I'm, I just, I'm just saying. How do, how, okay, so, okay, a lot of people in relationships or any type of relationships, the man lacks patience. Mm. How did you become so patient? Now, you know that's the worst thing you could pray for. The worst thing I you could pray, pray for, for I is patience. Because <laughs> that means trials and tribulations are coming. That's the only way patience is made. I, I didn't pray for it. I just think over the, over the years, you know, it was the Holy Spirit that kind of settled it on me. Okay, so why are men patient? Because men don't have patience. They want things now, like clickety-click, like now, now. So how do you create balance with someone that lacks the patience to develop balance in a relationship? Now, that comes from a man maturing and calming down. A lot of men are just, they're not patient because they want everything to happen right then. It's because they don't know how to control their spirit. So where they get that from? No. Did they, they get that from being I, mama's boys, being pampered all their lives, and then they get into the real world, I think and they get in a relationship, and the girl's like, I ain't your mama. Huh? Yeah, I think a lot of that can, I think of some of all of that, everything you said, come from people that catered to them, come from, uh, come from themselves, and of not growing up, because men grow up way slower than a woman. Okay, so let me give you my theory. Yeah. My ahead, theory babe. of patience, 1,600 people. Women are born patient in certain areas because we have to wait nine months for a child to develop that's good and it takes nine months for a child to develop i, I, I mean just sitting in bob evans looking at the baby being born you right. know from our, our from our brother it, it it was amazing because i'm like is she six pounds is she seven ounces she's beautiful she's tall oh she's up back it takes time to develop that it takes a level of patience for us to eat the right foods wear the right clothes, do the right thing, and get the understanding that if we don't do what we have to do to nurture the child, it's not gonna be beneficial for both of us. So, we have been born with a level of patience. Y'all just get to see the push and receive. Right. Right? Yeah, we, don't do, we don't deal with the pain, we don't deal with the kicks, mm -hmm. we don't deal with the nausea, mm -hmm. we don't deal with any of that. No. And then even with cooking, most women, because we are nurturers, it takes a level of patience we have with the children. Y'all just get to change the diaper every now and then. Y'all just get to maybe... If we do. If you do. Y'all get to just show up at the recital, show up at the, the, you know, the soccer game, where we have to prepare. Anything that requires patience has to have a level of preparation. And by nurturers, that's in us to prepare a meal, prepare the children, prepare the table, to prepare, that's part of it. So when we create balance, to prepare balance, that means they've got to identify the one that has the patience to develop and to go through the flaws of life. Right. See what I'm saying? So women by nature, we, that's, that's just what it is. And most women by nature are more patient. Yeah. You yeah. know, but again, that's balance. That's balance. And in this, you know, she says I'm more patient. I may be more patient in other areas. And, you know, but I do have areas where I snap. Okay. I snap like a rubber band. This young lady said, my spouse has zero patience. If you're with anyone and they have zero patience, then that's a problem. Yeah. Because if you don't move fast enough, there's an argument. 
If you don't move fast enough, it's a fight. And it might get you hurt. That's a maturity problem. That's immaturity. That's a maturity problem. Yeah. It's very immature. Yeah. And so please understand, work on your patience because in every in every situation to create balance, you have to have patience. And that's a micro that's you know, maturity maturity problem. That's that's that microwave mentality. Mm -hmm. You know, when you really want something good, if you really if you person that does cook, my baby cook. But if you're a person that does cook and you put something together and it has to, you gotta, you gotta take time. You gotta, like she said, you gotta prepare it. You gotta cut everything up. You gotta put it in the pot and then it gotta cook. Right. You know, it's got. We used to use what they call the, the crock pots. Right. You know, this generation has a lot of men a that have a microwave mentality. mentality. Uh -huh. You know, but What's but up, a, but the man that knows what a crock pot can do, mm -hmm. he gonna take his time and he gonna wait. And the thing, then the thing about having. Having a, a man like that is some kind of way is gonna be pray. I pray that it works out for you, but a person like that right there, they they'll usually mess the relationship up because they they just haven't grown yet. It's hard to create a relationship of balance with someone that doesn't have self control. Yeah, it's very difficult. I think when you don't yeah. have self control, you're gonna lose control and lose everything because Ooh. you refuse to create the balance. You can't get mad at somebody if they don't know. You can't get mad at someone because they think they know. You can't be offended. Mm. It really develops a sense of maturity when you really creating a healthy balance. Something in that spot right there, I won't never call your wife or your husband stupid. That's right. The moment that you do that, right. even after that moment when you want to bring something that's vital, yeah. They're not gonna be They're able not to receive it mm -mm. because because of the way that you've done it, and mm -hmm. and I've seen this. I've you know I've counseled people, mm -hmm. men, you know, with wives that have just called them stupid, mm -hmm. called them ignorant, just mm -hmm. called them all kind of things, mm -hmm. and you know, and and I draw I drew a lot of men like me. Mm -hmm. It was they was off the streets, but they was quiet and patient. Yeah, it's not good to do that. If you are a woman that have been doing that or a man that have been doing that, I want to advise you, first of all, you need to do an open apology. Yeah. And then make sure that they know that you will never do that again because mm -hmm. if, if you have done that, mm -hmm. that's digging a hole for divorce. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The, the, a woman just went on the timeline and she said, um, how do you deal with someone that's always cutting off communication? That, I'm gonna say Ooh. this, and I want you to click tag and share someone that has a problem. Sometimes when you're in a dialogue, sometimes Fred and I have a healthy dialogue or dialogue and then he'll interrupt me and I'll interrupt him, but we know we, 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 it's just a respect thing that we understand at some points and some things are being dropped, but I know when to, you just have to have that sense of sensibility in communicating where you know when to draw back and you know when to come back. But if you're dealing with someone and they're consistently cutting you off in an argument, not dialogue, in an argument, that means he won't let you get a word in edgewise. She won't let you get a word in edgewise. You refuse to create a balance because when you shut the line of communication off, it means that they're controlling the conversation so that no one can be heard. You will always be disrespected because they don't know how to deal with you because even the Bible says, dwell with her according to knowledge according to knowledge the knowledge is what she is giving you that caused the pain and vice versa so i can't dwell with him and he can't dwell with me if we're having a heated discussion a heated argument and i'm cutting him off and he's cutting me off when you have a person that's cutting you off in an argument sometimes you have a dialogue and i'm like Fred, you're so crazy Fred. he does the same thing but we get it but in a confrontation if they're shutting you off and they give you the silent treatment, they're getting full control of the relationship. Yeah. And they're telling you when to speak and when they want you to speak. They're creating an atmosphere for you not even to hear them, but I am in control when it's time for you to hear. That's right. That's I am right. in control when it's time for you to speak. I am in control. And so that's a sense of control. What's up, man? I'm laughing because now I had, you know, I've counseled. And, you know, you learn a lot. You learn a lot when you're dealing with people. You know, you learn a lot about yourself when you counsel. And you learn a lot about other people. And I've dealt with men that get quiet 
you know, they put this, they get quiet and put this little boy thing on yeah. and they kind of shut up and mm -hmm. they won't talk to the wife for, for two and three days. It's torment. You know? That's torment. And, and it's, it, it's a form of control. It's it like, is. I ain't finna, I ain't finna fight with you and tell you what I feel about it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just shut up yeah. and shut you out and make you feel and make you feel feel a detachment mm -hmm. uh and that's that's not you know men that men that you do that mm -hmm. that that's not really a manly thing to do that's a little boy thing and it's tormenting my dad used to do that to my mother she would be crying and she would be like james what's wrong what did i do and it, it, it's 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 demonic it is. it's so demonic when you are saying well what's wrong well what did i do and you're texting and you're calling and you're crying like what did i do would you just talk to me would you just talk to me she used to do that and i'm like yo nigga and he was my dad i was like why would you talk me out like that if you're mad at someone just say look i really am not ready I, right now, I can't have a conversation with you because I need some time. At least if you give them that, that that's they right. at least understand that I will give you time yeah. and when you're ready to talk. But just don't say nothing. You didn't, you will never create balance with somebody like that because what they're telling you is, I will be in control when this is over. Nah, Negro, you need to get about my house. See, we don't have that problem no more. Give me some. A lady said to me, she said she went up the timeline, and she said, how long, and she's asking another question, and this is not having to do with balance. She says, how long should you date before you get married? Let me drop some Yeah, nuggets. we've been getting that one a minute. Let me tell you something. I have a cousin. I promise you. My cousin and his wife are beautiful. They were dating for two weeks. He called me up. We was in West Virginia. My grandfather passed. And he said, I found my wife. I was like, yo, what you mean you found your wife? You was with the last chick for 12 years. He said, no, I found my wife. I said, cool, when we gonna marry her? When we gonna, when we gonna meet her? He said, nah, I'll marry her next week. I'm like, all right, cool. They still together. That was over 20 something years. Another one of my girlfriend, Michelle, not my sister and my sister, Michelle. Um, she was one of my white friends. She went to the OBG. Her mother went to the OBG I yet. I don't know what the old boy was looking at. <laughs> Girl, I told you the story. <laughs> she married her OBGYN in two weeks. He went down there and came up and said, "Are I'm you married?" The light. No, I know. He saw the light. I don't know what kind of kegel she was doing down there, Fred. I told you the story, right? Put your mom on the phone. Put your mother on the phone. I ain't coming back. Yo, it was sunshine in effect. Hello? I ain't coming home. I ain't coming home. They've been together for 32 years. <laughs> I promise you. And so I really believe that a man knows. I, I know this for a fact. You could be with somebody for a long time and that not be your spouse. Yes. It's serious. Real serious. You could be with somebody for a whole lot of years and go through a whole lot of hell. And then, look at Pastor Steven said, I can't, LOL. You could be with somebody for a whole lot of years, wasting a whole lot of time, and find your spouse, and it's a whole different level. Your soulmate, your destiny, your eternal purpose. Yeah. 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 So, it's what she's to... saying is, she can't give you no time. You got to know. Yeah, you got to know. Especially a man, he You got to know. And a man know. A man know. A man know. A man know. So, I crossed the, the hills of Alabama to find this woman. Who shot you? <laughs> Who bye, 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 bye. And I'm telling you. I said, COVID, go to hell. You I'm sure leaving. Not. I'm going to find me to get out to this one. She ain't going to get away from me. You said, I shut down. I don't know. You ain't going to shut down. <laughs> To stop me, okay, come on up. Let's Kobe go. tried to stop me, but I got him. Husband and wife time. Come on, husband and wife time. But honestly, you it it really it, you you both have to understand that love is effortless. If you're forcing something to work, Ooh. if you're forcing balance, if you look at yourself from where you were then, I'm gonna give you a project. Look at where you were years ago before you got involved with somebody. God, if they don't, Ooh, that's crucial. Why did I mean a baby? She asked a question. That's crucial. If you though. look at yourself where you were years ago, and if you look better, 
If you look worse, it's on y'all now. Because sometimes time tells a story. Time tells a story. And if you're with someone and you look worse than you've ever worse, you feel horrible, you look, oh my God, what, what happened to me? Then you might not be connected to the right person. Because people are supposed to make you better. And you got married and got bitter. You have to understand that love is effortless. It didn't take God no time to say, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a submit unto death. I'm, 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 I'm just going to yield unto death because I love them. You've got to understand that a person that loves you wants the best for you. And they want a very balanced life. They don't want to control you. They don't want to make you ugly. they inside and out. Both of you are supposed, marriage is for both of you. It's just like the story, and I'm going to hurry up and go, where the utensils was on the finger, but the food was in the middle. In order for everybody to eat, the goal is, is to feed each other so you all can eat. But if the utensils are long and the food is in the middle, how do you grab it and put it towards your mouth? That's why people are evilly mad and angry in marriage because they're so selfish, they're feeding themselves and forget that marriage is about both of you. I've been there. I was with someone that was very selfish. I was dying daily and they didn't care. And they were killing me. God, I was with someone, I was in warfare every day. Demonic warfare. It was strife. It was cantankerous. It was evil. And I would look at them and say, I'm dying. You're killing me. And they didn't care. And so you've got to ask yourself, what are you in and why? Because the person that really loves you is concerned about if they're killing you or bringing you life. And they know it. When you meet a man and he meets you, and if it's effortless and you both are on the same page, then you better believe that it might be God saying, this is who I originally had for you. You chose someone else. Okay? Um, that's right. A woman said, um, women need to stop seeking the man and let him find you. But she also has to put herself in a position to be found, my yeah, baby. Yeah, you got to watch that. And that's another topic that I don't have time for. I love you all so much and so does this man what is... Uh -huh. Pastor Fred, God's God man on, on deck. deck. All right, and so create the balance. Understand, when you have an unhealthy balance, somebody is going to die. Period. If you have an unhealthy balance, that means someone is giving more and someone is receiving. That means an unhealthy balance is somebody is dead and somebody is... It's like this. It's teeter-totter. A healthy balance is when you both can flow evenly. The yoke is... When the yoke... Can I use your neck yeah, for a baby. minute? When the yoke is on the oxen's neck, it's like this. That's the parable of marriage. This is the parable of relationship and marriage. Yeah. It's that if the yoke can be on the oxen's neck and the farmer can make a straight line, then they're equally yoked because that oxen is not going to go left and he's not going to go right. But you look over there, baby. And I'm like, if, the, if it's like this, then that line is going to get like this and there won't be a proper harvest because they're not walking the straight line on one accord. Right. So the healthy balance is that they both walk together. Not choking one another. Not choking one another. And that's what will happen too. Yeah. If one oxen goes this way, while an oxen go that way, they will choke and they die. Choke out, they choke out create, one another. Yeah, create a healthy balance. It's good for you and it's good to you. Right? It's really, it's really crucial. I don't know if you're ready to do it, but if you take a look, you will see whether you're with the right person or not. Now, you might not be ready to admit it. But you'll definitely see. You'll feel it. That you're with the right person or not. All right, we love you. Drinking out the wine, wine, wine. Because I've been drinking this and I know they was like, she's drinking moonshine. No. No, that's. It's Because <laughs> it looks like water. moonshine, right? That's water. Moonshine is clear. It's water. People like, because you know, people <laughs> People like to spray rumors. They in the car drinking. No. <laughs> Cassie had moonshine. And she gave something to Fred. That's that strange fire. Boy, I'm ready to boil y'all. Look, boy. It's water. You it's, talking about balance. I've been wanting to shout some of them Negroes out. They shout, they shout the whole name see, out. See, now that's what you that Now, that's Meek Mills. I got an ignorant part of me that I want to but look in. I that's just, Meek Mills. I just want to shout some. That's Meek Mills. We need Meek. You you trying to be Meek Mills. That's one of y'all Negroes ice for a... Uh, 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 all right, I'm going to stop. See there? All right. See, so that's the balance. <laughs> hey, that's the camp. That's the balance. The balance. Hey, Cam, where my... Hey, man, where my pad at? Cam. Look, he got you. You just going to put the man on blast in front of everybody. You just ignorant, man. We, man. You just ignorant. Man, Cam, know Eskimo this. Eskimo kiss. Yeah. Give me an Eskimo kiss. We got glasses. It don't work with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
But that's the thing. Do Eskimos really kiss like that? That's what they told her. I told her that was the um, Eskimo pie commercial. Nobody knows about the Eskimo pie commercial. If you in the 70s, you knew about the Eskimo pie commercial when they had the Eskimo, uh, the ice cream with chocolate around it, and they kissed with the, the nose. The Klondike bar. That's a Klondike bar. Cl right? No. It's a Klondike What would you do for a Klondike bar? This, this is a Klondike bar. First, we saw these old Hell Mevin and the Blue Note songs. Now, we're going to do commercials. Is this what we going to do? I just couldn't broke my phone fast enough for y'all to see her dancing off an old song. No, I mean, I'm fine. I can do that. Yeah. But, I, but the Eskimos, Eskimos don't kiss like that. Who said that Eskimos kiss like that? I ain't that? saying they kiss like that. It's because their noses are cold? I don't know if they kiss like that. Well, we're going to Google it and see. All right, we got to get out of here. Y'all so crazy. I love y'all. Blessings on y'all. Blessings on top of blessings on blessings on blessings. Get away from the ignorant and love who love you. Amen. <laughs> Look, wait a minute. And, and, and Bob Evans, Fred was trying to kill a fly. So we was trying to kill a fly. We was trying to kill a fly. And the man was going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why we all just need this. And hey, you know what? As couples, you know what we ought to do, y'all? When we're in the restaurant and somebody call, both of y'all, listen, this going to make everybody laugh. Just jump up at the same time and say, COVID, COVID. See, there, now you're trying to get a shot. We got to go. Because, Fred, put your mask on, baby. Let's get up out of here. All right, y'all. We love y'all. Bye, y'all. I kick y'all legs. Fred, you going to get us killed. I promise you, you lucky we got a lawyer. I promise you, you lucky.